Hey guys, how's it going? This is Ebert Yuba. In this question, I'm going to show you how you work out problem four. Okay, so problem four from uh, the Zimsec 2020 June paper one uh, A level maths. Okay, so I'm going to show you how you you go you can go ahead and and um, solve this this question. Uh, it's just, it's actually similar to the question that we solved previously. So if, if you haven't watched uh, that one, it would also be great for you to actually revisit the previous video before actually proceeding with this one, okay? So I'm going to wipe everything off and then we're just going to uh, see the question that, that we are dealing with, okay? So the question says, solve the inequality. You have this, it, may, it simply means uh, the, the magnitude, okay? So the modulus of, of uh, 2x, 2x plus, plus 2, greater than 1 minus minus 2x. So I'm going to show you uh, one method this method, it's, it's very, most people, they, they don't use this method, but it's the method that computes the answer the fastest, okay? It's actually uh, a little bit similar to what we did previously uh, in, the, in the previous question, okay? So this method, what you do is you just square first, so you get 2x plus 2 here, then you square. Uh, that's how you get rid of the modulus. So you get, the rid, you get rid of the modulus by just squaring. So here you would also square. So you're squaring both sides. When you square the left hand side and when you square the right hand side of an equation or inequality, you don't change that inequality. Okay, so this is a this is a very good trick. And then after after squaring, some some people would want to expand. It's still fine if if you want to expand, uh, but then you'd have to factorize again. A smart way to go about it would be to uh, just use difference of two squares by creating the difference of two squares, okay? So this is how you'd create the dif difference of two squares. Kick this one, this one over to this side, you'd have a square and then here you'd have a square. If you have two squares, obviously uh, we know that uh, you, can, you can put the first square here, uh, the square root of the first square here, and then you can also put the square root of the first square here, okay? So you can just say two x plus two, then here it's two x plus two as well. Here like this, then you can put the square root uh, you can add it to one side, so it'd be 1 minus, minus 4x here. Uh, then here it'd be uh, minus, then the same square root, so it'd be 1 minus uh, 4x here, okay, like this. So you can now go ahead, you can now proceed and uh, actually dissolve this. It's uh, greater than 0, obviously. So here when you dissolve it, uh, you get uh, 3, 3 minus 2x, okay, that's, that's what I'm getting. So I'm getting 3 minus, minus 2x, like this, I'm getting 3 minus 2x. And then here I'm getting, uh, this one will be 4x here plus 2x, I'm getting 6x. So I'm getting 6x, then here I'm getting plus 1, okay. So uh, just because 2 here, then minus 1, you get uh, plus 1, okay. So 2 minus 1, you get 1. So after doing this, what you do is you, you find your roots. So your roots are x equal to, so if you quit this one to 0, you'd have, um, uh, if you quit this one to 0, you'd have, let me actually show you, you'd have 3 minus 2x equal to 0, or you'd have uh, 6x plus 1 equal to 0, okay? So you'd have x equal to, your roots would be, um, it'd be 3 over 2, okay? So just, if you want to do, to do a longer process, it's still fine. Uh, just make sure that you're getting the, the same answers as I'm getting, okay? So like this. So now that you know the, the roots, you can actually go ahead and uh, draw your diagram. So your diagram would be, uh, your, your graph rather, so your graph would be, this one would be your, your y, so your, or your f of x, it's still fine. You can call it your y or your f of x. So this one would be your x. And this, this graph would it be frowning or it would be the, it would be um, uh, frowning. Or it would it be frowning or it would be smiling. In this case, your graph would be um, frowning. It would be frowning just because the, the dominant sign here, the, uh, the coefficient of x squared would be negative. Okay, so here you'd get negative 2x, multiply by 6x, then you'd get negative. So for negative uh, x squared um, parab parabolic graphs or negative x squared quadratic graphs, we have to draw a, a frowning curve, okay? So the frowning curve would be like this. So after drawing the frown frowning curve, then you have here, uh, this one would be negative 1, one over, over 6 like this, this one would be uh, 3 over 2 like this, okay? So you're looking for the values where uh, the graph is, is greater than 0. So greater than 0 for y, so you can think of this is the demarcation line, okay? So these are the positive values for, 
for y going going upwards like this and there's neg the negative values so this this zero line here would be the x-axis so you want the regions that are greater than uh, for this curve so obviously it's these regions here okay so at the end of the day you would uh, have uh, x would be it'd be greater than it'd be greater than negative one over six here okay but then it should be less than three over two here okay so this one will be your, your solution so that's essentially how you you go about it you can square and then most people uh, some people rather not most people they would want to expand here if you want to do that it's still fine but then you'd have to go back again and then factorize you can actually try this you just just try to expand this part here just try to expand it and then see what you get and then after expanding you try factorize and then after factorizing you see whether you you get the same roots here uh, you if you use this method here of, of difference of two squares just by sporting and creating that you have saved immense time for yourself okay you have extra time for you to revise in your exam but this is probably uh, it for you this is probably just about it for for this question uh, we'll do so many questions similar questions uh, in the future but then I'm, I'm, I'm really satisfied with with how this one went out so if you have any other questions or any suggestions uh, just put them in the in the comment section this has been fun for me uh, thanks so much for watching make sure you like share and subscribe you are out this one is smooth hey guys how's it going this is Albert Yuba in this question we're going to do question five for the June 2020 paper on meds paper advanced level okay so for a level we're going to do question five so I'm going to wipe everything out and then we're just going to do to go straight to question five okay what it says so you are asked to expand p minus x to the power negative two is a series of uh, ascending powers of x up to x to the power three you are asked you're told that uh, p is p is a positive constant okay so um, uh, this is your this is your your function here you want to expand it as a series and then you also told up to the term x cubed here okay so that that will be the the first part so the first part how you go about it would be to manipulate so you have x you have p minus you have p minus x here to the power negative two you'd manipulate it to become one plus ax here okay so to the power uh, negative two is still fine okay but then you need you need one here that's how we can apply uh, the binomial expansion okay so here what what i would do is to use my my big square brackets in order to uh, get rid of p here i would, I would uh, factor out p if i factor out p i'm left with one minus uh, one over p x like this okay so or everything in the squared bracket to the power negative two like this so here it means that this p is affected by this negative two let me actually uh, show you so this p here it's affected by this negative two so we our calculation must reflect that okay so the way that it reflects that is it says p to the power negative two p to the power negative two it's simply one over p squared like this okay so this is fine and uh i'll be left with uh one minus one over p x to the power negative two like this okay so i'm not going to use the binomial expansion in case you don't know the binomial expansion uh it simply means it simply says one plus plus x to the power uh n should be equal to you get um it should be one plus then nx then plus then you get uh n then n minus one over two factorial then you have uh, x squared then plus uh n then n minus one n minus 2 over 3 factorial then this one would be would be uh, x cubed okay and so forth so we just want up to the x cubed term okay so this is fine for us and uh, what we get is 1 over p squared and then obviously we get 1 according to our binomial expansion and then our n our n is simply this uh this power here okay so this power would be our n and then uh our our x will be substituting this whole thing here okay so let me actually show you we'll be substituting this whole thing here because this one would read uh one plus minus this okay to the power uh, one minus this x 
So continuing on, this one would read uh, 1, then plus nx. So it'd be 1 plus, then you have minus 2 here, then x, your x is what? If you want, you can use squared brackets here since we, we still have to uh, put some, some brackets here. So it'd be negative uh, 1 over p, then negative 1 over px like this. Okay, so that's your, that's your x. And then you say plus, then you get, you say negative 2. This time we're going to say negative 3 as well. Okay, so n, n minus minus 1. Okay, so which is good for us. Divided by, by 2 factorial, which is simply 2. But then we, do, we don't need to uh, simplify that right now. Okay, so you have uh, 1 over px. This time we are going to square it. And then we're also going to do the same thing for the... Now you, you must have gotten uh, a hang of it, especially if you are uh, shadow working with me. Okay, so this one you get this. And then this one over 3 factorial. And then obviously you need your term in x, which is negative 1 over p x here. Okay, so negative 1 over p x to the power 3 this time. Okay. So here, what you'd be getting, you get 1 over p squared like this, okay? So you get 1, then here obviously you get positive, it'd be positive what? 2 over 2 over p x like this, okay? So which is good for us, you simplify the uh, signs first, so you get positive, and then you simplify the uh, actual uh, multipliers here, then you get uh, 2 over 2 over p like that. So here, uh, this 2 is going to cancel with this one, so you're simply going to be left with um, with 3, the 3 will be positive in this case because you have negative, negative. This negative here, it's, it's going to square. So the 3 will be positive. So it get plus 3. Okay, so 3 over what? Over P squared X squared. Okay, just because this P here, it's, it's actually squared um, because it's it's also in the, in the same bracket uh, as X. Okay, and then you have plus this one, this negative, this negative, positive, and then there will be another, another negative coming from this uh, to the power 3. Okay, since a negative number to the power odd uh, number power, it's simply equal to negative. So you'd get positive at the end of the day. Okay. So 3 factorial actually means 3 by 2. So 3 factorial, this one, uh, you can write it as 3 by 2, but the essence of it is that it will cancel with uh, this this and this okay so the, this and this they'll cancel with this three so you will be left with with um, just just four so you'll be left with four over this one will be p to the power three okay so this one p, p to the power three x to the power three like that plus dot 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 and then another way to actually figure this out is to form a general term you can also do it right away or you can do it later on okay so let's just do it afterwards okay uh what what you do is um you you now uh, create you know your 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 series. So here would be one over p squared. Now it'd be one over p squared here. Then plus this one would be two over p cubed x. Then plus this one would be three over uh, p to the power four. Then x squared here. Then plus this one would be four over uh, p to the power five. Then x to the power three. Then plus dot dot dot. You can actually find the general term. You see here it's one, it's two, it's three, it's four. So obviously for the general term, which is n, this one will be n, okay? And then for this, this power is here, it's n, p to the power two, power three to the power four to the power five. Uh, what it simply means is that it's uh, p uh, to the power n plus one, okay? Just because for, for the uh, first term, it's two. So if you put n equal to one here, you'd actually get the, the two here, okay? And then for x, obviously, it's uh, x n, n, n minus minus one, because minus one. Uh, with the first term, you actually don't have anything, so it'd be uh, one minus one, then you get zero like that, okay? So this is uh, what you'd get for, uh, the, for, the, for, the, for the equation, okay? So expand up to the third power, and then find the coefficient, uh, find, given that the coefficient of uh, x squared is um, three over, three over, um, you're given that the coefficient of x squared is 3 over 16. Find the value of p. So coefficient of x squared, uh, it's uh, this one here. Okay, so it's 3 over uh, p to the power 4 is equal to 3 over 16. Okay, so you want to find the value of, uh, of um, p. So here you'd, you'd be having uh, p to the power 4 equal to uh, 16 here. That's, that's what you'd get. And then p is obviously equal to... Uh, the fourth root of 16 here, you're told that P is positive. So obviously you just take the, the positive uh, fourth root, which is for this case two. Okay, so your answer would actually be two here. 
So this is just, just about it. It's just a, a matter of equating uh, the, the coefficients. And then on, on the C part, you are told hence or uh, hence state the values of um, x for which uh, this expansion is valid. So for this one, here what you do is uh, you take again the, the, the value. So for example, here we're saying that this one is uh, what we're taking as a. Remember, it'd be 1 plus plus a uh, x, the point negative 2 here. So we're taking the value of a would be uh, this attachment here. Okay, so we'll be taking that and then we we'll put it like this and then you say uh, negative 1 over p like this x uh, should be bound between between negative one and one, okay, so it's greater than negative one, and then it's less than one. So what you do is, uh, this, this one, since it's modular, since you're dealing with size, then this one actually disappears, and you're simply left with uh, one over p here, uh, then one, then negative one, okay. So you can actually multiply uh, each and every term by, by p, here you'd get uh, negative p, then you get uh, p, then you get, here you'd get x, obviously, so here would be x, so here would be, would be P like this, okay? So this is how you'd work it out. This would be your, your actual range. So this is just about it for our questions one through five. We, we, we are done with the, that part and this has been exciting. If you noticed any error or anywhere, it's been long since I actually did uh, advanced level uh, mathematics, okay? So uh, it would help me out to actually polish up if you know some tricks that we can use as well, that'd be much appreciated. But then I, I love you for for actually watching this video uh, to up to the end, okay? So really appreciate it. I'll catch you in the next video. You're out.